This was the Phantom of the Opera. Tonight's event was actually a grand rounds at uh, Rutgers Biomedical and Health Sciences. In our Department of Psychiatry, we use pop culture to teach learners, including medical students and residents. We went through every single scene of the Phantom of the Opera. We focused on Christine, Christine Daae, and the diagnosis here is within a mood disorder spectrum. I posed questions to her in character. Her responses contain both process, melody, as well as content, lyrics, that really supported what I believe was going on in a mood disorder spectrum. Because we're combining pop culture, music, all different forms of media, um, things that us, the young generation, tends to like, um, I think it sticks very much naturally, um, even more so than it would if you were just studying out of a textbook. These are patients that we don't have to worry about confidentiality because these are um, you know, fictional patients. So um, it makes it interesting, it makes it engaging, it helps us remember better. It's definitely very unique. Uh, I come from an artistic background. This is one of the only venues that has helped me bridge um, art and science and be able to kind of bring that sort of artistic background into a clinical arena. One of the benefits of using pop culture is it destigmatizes. It allows people to overcome the taboo of needing to talk about these things that we think are, are somehow mystical. You are not Students usually go into a field other than psychiatry. If I can't grasp them, get them interested, then when they go to their surgical patients, their obstetric patients, they may miss the co-occurring psychiatric condition, and, and that could be harmful. My role is to engage those students who really have no interest in pursuing a career in psychiatry. You were once a friend and father.